Hey guys, happy Monday. Today I'm reviewing these uh, new L'Oreal Glossy Balm Lip Crayons and I am really, really enjoying these, I must say. I've been wearing, especially one of these shades a lot, the Lovely Mocha color. I featured this in the My Lips But Better video that I did over on my other channel. Color-wise, it's such a um, great enhancement of my natural lip color. I feel like it's pretty neutral, but just like a hint of rose and a great like glossy, shiny finish. And the other shade that I have that I'll be showing you is Baby Berry. These are the two that I picked up when I first saw these on display at Walgreens. I think they've got a really nice combination of comfortable texture without being too slippery, greasy feeling. But also really nice pigmentation and just a lot of great creamy colors. There are eight total shades available. They sell for around $7 a piece. And they are described on the website as having pigmented shine and keeps lips soft and supple for hours on end. And I would say that's true. I don't find these to be dry. I don't feel like they're providing quite the heavy duty moisture that the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks do. I really feel like those do a great, great job. And I'm sorry, I have to mention those pretty much anytime I mention like a jumbo pencil, it comes back to that because those are really great. I practically see those as a lip treatment for as hydrating as they are. These feel very moisturizing at the onset when you first apply them. And I feel like I never reach a point where they've really, really dried me out. You know, even after color is wearing off, my lips don't don't feel like they're totally parched. And when some products wear off of your lips, you do get that feeling. As far as the application of both of these shades, I'll show you the lovely Mocha in case you haven't heard me mention this already. Very, very workable with like any kind of eye look, blush color. I also just find it to be very low maintenance, you know? When this starts to wear off of my lips, it doesn't do so in a pronounced or strange way. Being so close to my lip color, it's like, okay, I'll just add a little bit more. But I don't feel like I'm having to constantly reapply this product. Even after I eat, I can still see some color, but if I want the freshest possible look, I'm going to have to go over it again. I mean, this is not a staining lip product. It's important to know that. There are a lot of these jumbo pencils that do actually have a staining element to them. With certain shades, sometimes I think it's a good thing because they're really able to make sure that the shade that it ends up staining your lips is almost exactly the color you first apply, but in some cases it doesn't turn out that way, and your stain um, kind of develops into a totally different color or sometimes a way brighter color than what you started with. So sometimes that's what people want, sometimes it's not. This is not a staining type of lip product. The other shade that I have is Baby Berry, and in the lineup of shades, I remember thinking this one looked the most reddish, and then they had some more, like, pinky tones, but still I find this to be kind of a berry type of red color on my lips. I still think it's just a very fresh color. I think it makes the lips look so, I don't know, voluptuous and just really juicy. I think the tone is just really great. You know, it's not super dark. If it's something you're looking to wear in the summertime, I don't think you have to feel weird about sporting this berry. Packaging wise, these are really nothing different from what you're seeing in a lot of the jumbo lip pencils out there. They twist up from the bottom you're going to lose a little bit of precision as time goes on unless you really make a point to use like the side of this pencil as opposed to the tip. But the tricky thing is that there are so many other jumbo lip pencils on the market right now. It's like, how do these really stack up? Because there's so much to compare them to. And like I said, these are not a staining thing. If you're looking for that, I would look toward the Revlon um, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains, the Jordana Twist and Shine. Wet n Wild has some staining jumbo lip pencils but to me, those were the least accurate in terms of the stain turning out to look exactly like the color you first applied, so I'm not so hot on those. But then you have other just standard colors in jumbo lip pencils. Like I said, the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks remain to be, in my eyes, the most moisturizing that I've used. But then you've got the NYX Chunky Dunks that I've reviewed recently. CoverGirl's got some jumbo lip pencils. And compared to those, which are just kind of a standard lip color in a jumbo pencil format, I find these to be more full color and and more shine to them as well. But the texture of these is very comfortable. These two shades that I have do not contain shimmer. I'm not positive if that goes for the rest of the entire line. I'd have to get a closer look at each shade, but very, very pleased with the two colors that I have. I was glad to see that even the more neutral one definitely um, exceeded my expectations as far as how well it shows up on the lips, how full color it is. And then this berry shade also totally delivering in terms of pigmentation. So I think if you try these, you won't be disappointed in them. And I am definitely looking to try some more shades that are out there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.